to not unnecessarily complicate things when explaining instrumental variable estimation, we have so far assumed that job seekers were perfectly randomly assigned to the treatment and control group. So whether they got the treatment option or not was perfectly random. However, if you read uh, the article, uh, you can read on page 148 that once the caseworker had assessed the job seeker's eligibility, he ran an extranet program to randomly assign her to treatment one, public program, treatment two, private program, or the control group. The probabilities of assignment to each group varied locally as so as to maximize the statistical power of the evaluation while complying with the quantitative objectives for each program. Each local area had targets in terms of recipients of the two programs. Yeah, so we see that for different um, regions, um, different localities, the probabilities to be in the, uh, in the treatment group or in the control group may have differed. But maybe we have regions that are, have, uh, where it's easier to find a new job and regions where it's harder to find a new job. Um, and this may very well um, lead to a bias even in our IV regression. Let's look at a graph to illustrate the problem. Now we estimate the short regression, jo whether a job was found within six months uh, and how it depends on the treated dummy, but use treat option as an instrument for the treated dummy. So we estimate this via instrumental variable regression. Um, but our instrument treat option is not perfectly randomized, but the um, probability to be uh, have the option uh, for the intensive treatment depends on the region a job seeker may live in. But uh, this region can also directly influence the probability to find a um, job within six months. So region is in a sense a confounder for our instrument treat option. Before we continue, maybe answer two quiz questions about this problem.